Lucky Boys Podcast. So, <clears throat> eventually I convinced them to uh, investigate the rest of the stuff. It kept on coming up on tapes. I kept on purposely getting on the tapes where they had to investigate it. So they were like, all right, investigate Yam and the Lieutenant only, right? And so we realized that Yam and the Lieutenant, just them two alone, the Lieutenant was Korean. So he had, I don't know if you know the demographics of Flushing, but from anywhere from, I think, 149 and up, uh, further out east, towards the higher numbers, the higher street numbers, becomes Korean. Right. Right? And... 149 and below becomes Chinese. Right. You can tell by the businesses. Right. I mean, it's a big sign. Yeah. Right. So Yam had control of the Asian, the, the Chinese uh, places. Businesses, right. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't even say businesses. I would say like the massage parlors, the, right. the, I the meant, prostitution I meant, houses. I meant that. Oh, okay, the okay. underground businesses. The underground businesses. Yeah, right? there you go. <laughs> but Sung already had the Korean businesses locked down. Underground businesses. Right. right. Yep. And he wanted to take over get get a piece of the Asian businesses. So since oh. he's a lieutenant, he muscles his way in with Yam and he started getting a piece of the Asian business, the Chinese businesses, right? And so we learned, long story short, we learned they're protecting rapists, right? Because some of the girls from the karaoke's would get raped, right? And it's because the mommies were some of the mommies were, were not good mommies. Right? Now, when you say mommies, that's like a translation for like pimps, Madam. Like a madam. Right? Like the that kind of... The pimp. Like the, the pimp. Yeah. So... Just for people listening, they may not know... know what a what madam a mo- is? Okay. Well, no, what a mommy or a madam Oh, so, so let, me, let me describe okay. how the Chinese karaoke setting is, right? So you mm-hmm. go and you get a room, right? With a TV and microphone and speakers and stuff like that. Table. You order drinks, right? A typical karaoke room. Right. Mm-hmm. And then you have... The mommy, the 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 pimp, mm-hmm. come in, and she'll bring in this lineup of girls, and you pick which girl you want to sit with, mm-hmm. right? And these girls are post are called PRs because we call them public relations. Mm-hmm. They they sit with you. They PR drink, girls, right. right? They sit with you. They drink with you. They, they play talk games. They, with they you. play drinking games, dice, yeah. whatever. You know, they talk to you, keep you company. So you know, you have a good time, right? Some of them may. Um, do prostitution, whatever, but a lot of them don't. Right. It's right? at their discretion. I guess if they like the guy. Right, at the discretion. Mm-hmm. A lot of time, um, the mommy just wants to make money. Right? And I'm not saying all mommies. I'm saying the, the bad ones. Right? It was only a handful of bad ones. And the one that worked in Aviva, she made a deal with this guy who has money. Right? And he's a regular customer. He paid her. They drugged the girl. He ended up dragging the girl out of the karaoke, brought her back to his apartment, raped her. Wait, who who raped her? The customer. Just a random customer, not right. a police well, officer. No, no. Okay. Random customer. Okay. Right? So they roofied her, brought her back to a hotel, mm-hmm. and then did his thing with her. Mm-hmm. So, it's yeah. crazy. Bro. So this girl, she, next day she comes to the precinct, crying, did a report for her. Yam walks in, hey, what's going on? Because he saw a, a pretty girl or whatever. He's like, what's going on? I tell him, oh, she works at the but she just got raped. Oh, uh, let me see that case when, you, when you're done, right? Give me the report when you're oh, done. Oh, man. And I don't rep- like where this is going. And I told internal fears, and that report disappeared. It disappeared? Yes, it disappeared. <laughs> you know what I mean? So <clears throat> I asked internal fears, yo, what happened to that case? What happened with that case? So no justice nothing. for her. No, no justice, no peace, no nothing. So and that guy and, and a rapist gets gets to go. Well, well what really happened? Again. What we find out what happened is that he probably approached that. Um, he probably knows the customer, right? Or the owner knows the customer because he's a regular customer. And usually, when you're a regular customer, the owner knows you and stuff. Well, and, he obviously has some pull, right? I mean, for him and he made a deal with, with the guy, and the guy probably gave him money to make it go away, right? I know this because um, as an undercover. I done um, favors for Jimmy, and he paid me ten grand cash to shut down his competition, right? And I gave that money to Internal Affairs, right? And that's what we figured. Okay, they pay you two thousand dollars a month, right? They make you partners, mm-hmm. they pay you two thousand dollars a month, and then whenever you do a special favor, or whatever, they give you a large lump sum of money, right? Bonus, right? A bonus. And now you have to you have to keep in mind. 
You know how many karaoke's there are in Flushing? There's a shit ton. Shit ton. On every different floor, right. on, on basement. And uh, yeah, a lot of a them lot. Um, deal with drugs in there. A lot of them deal with PRs, with prostitution and stuff like that. And so they're paying the, the, the cops um, $2,000 a month. And then on top of that, they're shaking down gambling houses, right? They're protecting rapists, right? And getting money from there. Drug dealers, right? Human traffickers. Human traffickers. Yes, because a lot of these prostitution houses, some of them deal with human trafficking. Because what they do is they trick the girls coming over, right? They'll be like, oh, come here for a modeling job or whatever, right? From China. Right, or, or from Korea or whatever. Mm-hmm. Come here for a modeling job, right? And then when they get here, they'll be like, oh, let me hold on to your passport and stuff and so you don't lose it, right? I'll keep oh, yeah. it safe for you. Yeah, I heard that one And before. then, boom, they're stuck. And then they're like, oh, if you go to cops or you call the police or whatever, we're going to kill your family in you know korea or whatever because we now we have your information so we know where you live and they believe it because out in china that happens yeah out in korea whatever you know that that might happen i don't know right so <clears throat> they get tricked they they pay off a certain amount and then you know that's, that's such that. a crazy scheme. Right.